Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today, we are gonna be doing this very easy glam white rabbit look from Alice in Wonderland. It's very cute. Again, I used a couple of eyeliners, an eyeshadow, and some liquid lipstick. So super easy like all of my other tutorials. Um, but before we jump into it, please make sure you are subscribed. I'm gonna try and do one more Halloween makeup look if I have time. So yeah, definitely subscribe. If you are already subscribed, thank you for coming back. Please make sure that you hit the little notification bell. And yeah, if you wanna see how do I did this, then just keep going. Okay, so we're here. I've got half of my face done, so I'm gonna show you really quick how to do a very easy um, feminine white rabbit tutorial. And I did draw the outline for the clock already. But let's make sure you're as close as we can. I'm trying not be, and I didn't put my lashes on yet, so. I will do the wind blue. It scared me. I will do my lashes really quick at the end on both sides. But yeah, so we're gonna, I'll show you real quick. I'm just using a couple of eyeliners and some eyeshadow. So first, let's finish the lower lip. Uh, the bottom is just a ColourPop, just white stick liner you want. It can be creamy, but you want it to dry down matte. And then for the black, um, you could use liquid lipstick. Again, you want something that's gonna kinda dry down. I'm just using this as the Kat Von D liner. and you're just making a triangle. I'm using liquid liner again, cause it dries down. So if you do use a liquid lipstick, make sure it's a, like a matte, something that's gonna dry down completely. Otherwise you're gonna get transfer. And then you could do the pink first. I don't, again, this is Kat Von D. This is in Lovesick. I didn't. But you see, I just use the flat side. Or not the flat side, the tip, and just hold it sideways. And now you have a cute bunny lip. Easy enough. Okay, and then I should probably mention, I just did a normal foundation. Um, I did use my lighter one, the Maybelline. I think it's in 112, but you could do this with a normal foundation. You don't need to paint your whole face white. You can if you want to, but I don't think it's necessary. And since this is creamy, I just pencil some of it on. I tried it with a brush, like spreading it out with a brush and it sheared it out too much. And then I just go in with my finger. And again, you could do this with white face paint. I have these liners on hand, so I just use what I have on hand. And then I go through, now that I'm done, and then just deepen up the outer edge of both sides, just like that. It's a little uneven, but it's hard when you're doing like half and half. Again, you're just gonna draw a triangle and I think that would be easier all at once. So I'll just go over where I missed. Okay, and then same liner. Putting in some dots. Same white eyeliner, so I really only used the white, the black, the pink, the pink eyeshadow, and a black liner. And then I, you know, I filled in my eyebrows, and then you're just drawing fluffy. 
You want them to be a little fluffier than you would if you were doing cats, because again, you are, doesn't have to look perfect, because you do want it to look fluffy. And then just make a match. So then you got fluffy cheeks. For the nose, this is just a loose pink Medusa's makeup eyeshadow, not wetting it. Just on a flat brush, and you're just making a circle. So I'm going to finish the circle. And this one is like a shimmery, so it is shiny. You could use a matte eyeshadow or liquid lipstick for this. Um, whatever you have on hand. Again, don't buy anything. And then same flat brush. And on the bridge of my nose, just drawing a line. And then extending it over into my eye. And I will go back in with a pencil brush. and make that a little bit deeper here in just a second, but we'll do that for now. And then again, that same white liner. And you don't have to buy ColourPop. I have another liner from, where is this one? I got from the dollar store, LA Color, makes a white liner. It's a little bit stiffer than ColourPop's, but it's pigmented. Again, make it look fluffy make it look relatively even since we got the white liner let's finish the eyebrows and then I'll draw the line underneath and you're just going above your natural eyebrow and you're just drawing lines following the shape get a little shorter as you go down go back make these taller make them fluffier just doing little short strokes super easy go all the way down and there you go. And then you're going to take it. You don't have to go in the waterline. I'm not because my eyes run. I'm just going right below the waterline, just on the lower lash line and just doing white all the way down. That's going to make the eye look bigger and we'll go in and we'll draw the, the fake lid in a minute. So let's finish the pink. So just on a little pencil brush, any brush, small brush will do. Just gonna go deep and up where that pink is. Just make it a little bit thicker, right? Because we're right above where my crease is. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of a shimmery white just on the lid. You don't have to do this step. You could leave the lid bare. Just, this is a loose white shimmery. It's pretty sheer, so it's just going to add a little bit of sparkle on the lid. It's not really going to add any color. And again, like I said, you could just make sure you put some foundation on your lids and you could totally leave it like that. I just want a little bit of shimmer and then what's left on the brush I just take above. But yeah, this step is that step's totally not necessary at all. Okay. So we got the pink. We're gonna go back in to the same little liner, and I'm starting just a little bit farther back. Try to keep it thin as thin as you can. And then you're gonna kind of follow the shape of the, where the pink is. Just do a little wing. And if you wanna do a thicker wing, you can. My wings never match, so if yours don't match, don't feel bad. Okay, and then for the bottom, I just come down where the corner of my eye is Draw a little bit of a triangle. And again, those probably aren't gonna match either. 
make a little tear duct and then you just extend it all the way underneath and you're basically just creating a new eyelid and then I just flick it out and then I'm just gonna put some little lines for little lashes there that side came out better than this side did but that's typical so then that just makes your eyes look bigger that's all you did okay and I feel like my whiskers are uneven it's the only bad thing about doing them separately is they never quite look the same but I think everybody gets the idea okay so the eyes are pretty much done other than putting on falsies the face is done all we have left is the clock and I went ahead and I just took um, a little black coal liner one that was pretty soft and just drew a curve and then just added the lines I had the numbers in but I didn't like them so I took them off and we'll do those on camera so I'm gonna use the liquid liner and then I'll show you the detailing so we're gonna put the one and this is just a little pocket watch and you don't have to do this either you could leave the watch off we're gonna put the three up here and this part is hard because I'm like looking at the side of my face and it doesn't have to be perfect because we're gonna go back over with some gold and then we'll put four and a five. Okay. Gonna give that just a second to dry. And yeah, it, it doesn't look perfect, but we are gonna go back over it with the pencil brush. So I'm just gonna clean it off. I have a little hand towel in my lap, so I'm just gonna wipe it off. Okay, so I just have a ColourPop gold shadow, but you can use any gold shadow. You don't have to use a ColourPop one. Again, I have this on hand and I never use it. So I'm just taking some on the pencil brush and I'm gonna go kind of over around the circle. So I'm just following the line, just kind of staying on the outside to the the far side but you could do the inner side too his pocket watch is metal like it's a gold pocket watch so that's why I'm doing this but again you don't have to do this you could leave it black you could leave this off completely if you don't like it I combined this is a combination of two different like photos that I saw on Instagram and this is makeup that I did last year I'm just going to recreate it because I never got around to filming it. Okay, I'm going to go over the lines. Okay, same brush. And we're going to do the same thing with the numbers. That's why I was saying it doesn't matter if it's not perfect. You could get a little more precise with it. Just kind of adding some detailing to it. <clears throat> and again, use whatever gold you have. A lot of palettes come with the gold, so don't feel like you have to buy a gold, but just added some gold detailing. So I am going to put my lashes on, put my accessories on, and I will be right back. Okay, so this, I feel like this lash is gonna come off, but this is the finished look with the little hat. Again, I wore this um, makeup last year um, to school, so I had all the accessories and stuff. But yeah, this is the finish look, very easy. This took about, 15 minutes. I think if you were going to do both sides, I probably could have done it in 20. So very, very easy. And again, you could put a little bit of blush. You don't have to. But yeah, super easy. Super cute. 
thank you guys so much for tuning in hopefully you like this again it's very very easy couple eyeliners liquid lipstick and that's about it and yeah please make sure you are subscribed and hopefully i will see you in my next video i have one more idea for a makeup look um for halloween makeup look i was thinking about doing mad mini um let me know if that's in sounds interesting to you um if i have time i'm gonna try and get that one filmed too but yeah again thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully i will see you in my next video bye everybody